At this particular time, immune correlates have emerged as an important issue because we have begun as a TB community to invest more in developing TB vaccines. So if you look preclinically, there's now quite an exciting pipeline um, of vaccine candidates who are waiting to be moved into clinical trials. But what we don't have at the moment is any real way of assessing which of those preclinical candidates are going to be the one that works uh, and to go forward because we don't have a correlate of immune protection. And so, of course, we can't invest uh, in efficacy testing for every one of those candidate TB vaccines. And so we need tools, we need biomarkers and immune correlates um, to really select uh, the most effective vaccines and to progress their clinical development as quickly as we can. Uh, and the reason why we need to do this is because if we do want to end TB by 2035, then we're going to need an effective vaccine by the year 2025. Typically, we say it takes 10 years to develop a TB vaccine. So if we don't start doing something about this today, we're not going to have that vaccine candidate by 2025.